Welcome back to Homecoming Week. Yes, on Sister Circle Live. You can't mention funny without saying our next guest's name. The man has had his hands in acting, writing, and producing. From Wild Night to Blackish, even hitting the big screen with the wedding ringer, please welcome comedian Atheon Crockett. Yes! <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, 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 See you, How you doing, love? Good grind, to see you. Grind like, like I'm broke. We love yes. that. Yes. Yes. Queens, yeah, we got to grind like it's like it's crucial. Yeah. Yes. Like we could lose it all tomorrow. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Oh, Welcome to the well, show. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. This is lovely. Yes. I love what y'all doing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me tell you. See these newcomers. They, 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 they. These millennials. They think you just coming on the scene, but you've been around for a long time. I've like, been here, and what I love about this generation is you can reinvent. The, the attention span is a lot shorter, yes. you know what I mean? It's a, a 60 second on IG, mm -hmm. it's a, you know, it's just very short. So yeah. somebody could do something crazy this week and then literally tomorrow there's a whole nother story that all eyes are now focused okay. on right, that. Right, right, right. So you can reinvent yourself. Right. So, you so I'm young again, I'm here. young again, <laughs> that's I just right. started out. <laughs> Yeah, because you, you went from Def Comedy Jam to yeah. now working on the comedy cypher for the, for the BET Hip Hop Awards. Isn't that crazy? That is amazing. That's what it Still is. Still looking the same. Yes. 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 Huh? So, so tell us about that experience and how you segue from there to now. Um, it's just been, you know, grinding like I'm broke. Yeah. You know, yes. this, I'm, I'm a, a believer in just never stopping. I'm not going to not gonna get me to, to, to make a left turn or give up or whatever. Like, for me, it's just about... I have a vision about what I want to do, and I do so many different things that it's like it comes in waves. Yeah. Sammy Davis Jr. did it all. Yes. So why can't I not dance when I want to dance? Right. Why can't I not rap when I want to rap? Why can't I not do stand up when I want to do stand up? Yeah. Act, do music. Like it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a plain field. It's you know, it's, it's wide open. And those are gifts that, that that God has given you, which is yeah. a beautiful thing. It's you like know? a parable of the talent. How about yeah, it? Yes, we get all right. it. You, you already know. Better know the word. Yes, we you already better know yes. the word, right? So there's a there's a long standing joke here, Sister Circle, and I always say it. I'm like, y'all, I've been trying to make it a long time. I mean, I, I mean, I really have. So I used to be in a dance group too, okay. like videos, backup singer, everything. I just wanted to be on the stage right and I got that too so you like you said you mentioned being in the dance group so you are yeah. Apollo oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Soul Trend I like how y'all scroll down my IG you, know I see, I see oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you better get into it yeah, tell us about this young age what yeah you can tell you nothing and your white socks boy yeah, what yeah white socks <laughs> That was White Sox era. Yes. <laughs> so talk I'm a little bit about now. that and, and, and how, you know, seeing that and knowing where you are now and just enjoying the process. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's, it's me being a kid, uh, you know, an Army brat that just had a dream, that never had any direct connection to entertainment, and just believing that I could do it and saying, all right, let's, let's figure it out. Yeah. And knowing that I wasn't supposed to be in a cubicle somewhere. Not mm -hmm. knocking anybody that's in cubicles, you know, get your that's money. That's just not you. However, it's just, right. it wasn't for me. And I felt like God was always telling me, you're meant for a little more than, than just to be in one space. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. have to step out on faith. And I, I was a crazy kid, you know. My yeah. dad didn't want me to do this, but he, you know. He's happy now, I'm sure. He's my biggest yeah. fan now. Of course. Yeah. But I had to look him in the face and say, you know, I'm not going to give myself a plan B and tell myself I'm not good enough for plan A. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, so, yeah, that's good. All you college kids out there, all you steppers I saw earlier. <laughs> yeah. I, They'll be coming up a little later. Yeah, a little something, yeah. something. I, saw, I met them in the back, you know, we was talking a little bit. Right, right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we've seen how you are really close friends with Marlon Wayans. Yeah, And yeah. So, so has that, or do you feel like your friendship with him has catapulted your career in any way, or has he been a mentor to you in any sense? I wouldn't say catapulted, but it's definitely kept me consistent. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just having that relationship with the first family of comedy. Yeah, like yeah. That's, they're the royal family in, in the comedy game. So mm -hmm. just having that, I'm, I'm cool with all of them, but Marlon is the one who we're closest in age, mm -hmm. and he's the one I studied the most when the Living Color was out. Yes. Because he was the young one that came mm -hmm. on, and he was the first hip hop wayans of he the sure family. Was, yes. You know, he was the youngest and doing all the crazy stuff. So I already knew his comedy rhythm. So by the time we first uh, worked together, it was good. We was I was already there. Already, right, we we right. was on the same beat, the same notes. Absolutely, understand. Yeah. And now uh, you're working on your first 
stand-up. Stand-up special. Live, yeah, special. Yeah. yeah, tell us about that. So here's the thing. I took off from doing stand-up for 15 years. Wow. I stopped doing it altogether. So I came back about five years ago, and that's why I've been on tour, and, and I put up my own money to do my stand-up special. Right. So mm. I own it. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's We're right. talking about that Tyler Perry yes. system. Yes. Own it and yes. then license it that's in right. multiple places. So Come on, right now. Residual businessman. Well, okay. Businessman over here. Of course, here. we have more with API Crockett when we come back. We're going to see more of his talent when we come back. Stay with us. <laughs> oh, I can do that. Hey, hey. Of course, we are joined with the hilarious Apion Crockett, and you know he's a very funny man, very talented man, and he does impressions very well. So Hello, we son. could not let him leave the sister circle without showing us his talents. Hello, so son, what's son. going to happen in this game is we're going to show what's you. What's game? I mean, you know, somewhat. We're going to show you the celebrity, and then you go ahead and do your thing. As All right. Uh, it's a game, but I ain't playing. <laughs> but huh? you're the only one playing. Okay. So here's the first one. <laughs> Jigga. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Now, I like that picture of me. It was kind of... <laughs> oh, I, I had my Jimi Hendrix on. Like, yeah. it was like a, yeah. a headband. And, yeah, and, that was yeah. good. <laughs> oh, wow. It's right, That's it's amazing. Right, there. right. It was a concert. I think that was on the run, too. Okay. The second one. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we was on the run with that bag. It what? Was, I grind like I'm broke. Yes. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. That's all right. Chris Rock, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, a lot of people out here, man, a lot of single people, man, stay single, man. Marriage is hard. Marriage is so hard, man. Marriage is so hard. Wow. Some people kill their way out of it, man. Even, even the mind, even man. the mind, right. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, Here's man. the third one. What's up? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? <gasps> Russell? Oh, you know? wow. It's, it's, I like what you have going on in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would, I would buy it. Yeah. I would own it. How you is know? your yoga going? It's going great. Yeah. You know, I'm still flexible. You know. <laughs> I'm looking at my feet on the seat. <laughs> right. Shut right. it down. <laughs> it, feels, <laughs> it, it feels very relaxing. It's very relaxing. Yeah. Okay. You and guys should try it one day. Right. And, and yeah. one more. And one more. May she rest. Peacefully. Now, I have to tell you all something. Oh. We're here in the sister circle. Because we're all sisters yes. by nature, right? Right, right. We are. Right. Okay. Right. How proud are you of us? I'm extremely proud. Yeah. You guys have your own thing. Yeah. You guys own your own thing. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Don't oh, give it away. Don't give it away. Never. Wow. Can we give it up for oh, Epi? Oh, Greg, it was amazing. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Right, right. Like real, real quick. Can you tell us about your new movie? Oh, Quick, I have like, a new, like a new movie sense. called The Binge with Vince Vaughn, and I have a stand-up special called Mirror to Society. Yeah! yeah. And you can check him up. Bam. Check him out at Uptown Comedy Corner this weekend if you're in the Atlanta area. And please make sure you follow him on his Instagram, at Afion Crockett. Can we give it up for this yeah. man again? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And don't forget, the conversation always continues. This is Circle TV Live.